Okay guys, so today I wanted to show you a really cool tool um, that is built into Photoshop. So we've been working on cutting things out and changing uh, the look of things. But what if we want to keep the same picture, just remove something from the picture. So here we've got this picture of this red wall. It's got this bike leaning against it. Pretty cool picture. I like this door and the lights and everything. But there's this there's this electric box down here in the corner with this wire going across the top and I feel like that just kind of throws off the whole look of the the picture so we want to take that out now we could go in and we could use the clone stamp tool and we could try to clone to these bricks over top of it and we could probably do a decent job of doing that but I think there's going to be an even easier way to do that and that's going to be what's called the content aware fill. It's a new feature that Photoshop has built into uh, um, CS5 and later. So we want to go ahead and use that tool. So in order to do that we need to select the area that we want to have it um, do the content aware tool on. So we're going to use this rectangular marquee tool, which is in here. It's the top option. Now when we do this, the way that Content Aware Fill works is it goes and it looks at all the surrounding area and it tries just to match it up. So we want to take the, uh, the smallest amount of this as possible so that it doesn't kind of go and look for other um, sections of it and pull in other sections that we don't want and then I'll show you what that means what that would look like in a little bit but let's take our rectangular marquee and let's just go ahead and take the smallest amount of this section as possible while still getting that whole wire that goes across there so that looks pretty good it looks like we got everything at least through this section so once we've got that selected we can go up to edit hit fill You'll see that it says contents and then content aware. That's what we want. So we're just going to go ahead and hit OK. And it's going to think for a second. And there it goes. It took everything out. And then what it did is it basically just looked at all the surrounding areas and then filled it in with what it thought should be there in its place. So let's go ahead and hit select, hit deselect. And I mean, you can't even tell that there was ever a wire there. I mean our bricks are pretty good. Um, really there's really no way you could tell that something was there. So we can just come over now and we can take do the same thing with our wire that's going here. Again let's just take the smallest amount possible that we can at least initially. I found that that works a little bit better to kind of go in small sections and this works fast enough that you won't really um, be able to tell. So again once we have it selected we're going to go to edit fill, hit our content aware button, and it takes it out. Let's go ahead and hit select, deselect, so that we can get a good look at it. And yeah, I mean, the bricks are all filled in. Um, you really can't tell just by looking at it that there was something there. And then finally, let's go ahead and take out this uh, little electric box here down the corner. So I'm going to select that part of it. I'm going to go up to edit. Fill, Content Aware, hit OK, takes it out. And there you go. When I deselect it, that really cleaned up our picture uh, and made us so now we just have this really cool looking red wall, bike leaning against it, nice door, and that's it. That is um, a pretty awesome looking picture now that we got that wire and that electric box out of there. And honestly, you could never tell that there was something there. Now, just to kind of show what I was saying before, is if we try to take too much out at one time, um, that it might not do a great job with that. So let's say we wanted to actually just remove this bike. So if I was to take my rectangular marquee tool and draw a rectangle around this bike, if I went up to again to edit and hit fill, and I hit content aware, because what it's doing, it's, it's looking at all the surrounding area. And so what it did is it looked over here and it saw, hey, that looks like something that's pretty close to what I'm seeing in this area. So I'm going to just fill that in as well. 
obviously that does not look so good. But we can continue working with that if we wanted to. So we could deselect that. We can take our rectangular marquee tool again. Again, take the smallest section of this as possible. So that it's just looking at a little bit of a smaller section now. Hit edit, fill, content aware. Again, it's going to do a pretty good job. I'm going to deselect that. And it kind of did a little bit better that time. But this time I'm going to take even a smaller section of it. And there. That time, once we did it, it did a pretty good job. Okay. So, pretty good. So I've got uh, rid of that bike. It took me a few extra times to do it because it kept bringing in parts of the door, different things. It also brought over this little weed growing there, but that's all right. That actually looks fine there. It did kind of repeat the pattern across the bottom, so I could probably clean that up a little bit if I wanted to, but I think overall it did a pretty good job, so I'm going to just go ahead and leave it there. And now again, though, without too much work at all, really, I was able to get rid of the bike, the electric box, the wire going across there just by kind of going in small sections and doing a little bit at a time with the content aware tool. So a pretty good um, and a pretty cool tool that we could use. So uh, once you're done, go ahead and hit file, save as, make sure to change it to a JPEG, give it a name, make sure you know where it goes to, and then you can go ahead and save that and then go ahead and post that onto our class page on the on our class page. All right, great job.